Hello, I'm Dr. Adam London, Director of the Kent County Health Department, and I'm here to give you another update on the COVID-19 situation affecting so much of the, the world. First of all, I want to do a little bit of housekeeping. There's been much comment in the past week or so about the politicization of this issue and who's controlling the messaging coming from public health agencies. And I want to be very clear with you. Here in Kent County, our county commissioners, um, our county administrator, Raymond Britt, have all been very clear. They don't want any role in censoring anything. They want this department, they want me, to speak directly to you as often and as transparently as possible. And that's what you're going to get from, from myself and from this department. I also want to uh, quickly mention that you're going to hear me refer to this as COVID-19 and not coronavirus. And that's very intentional because there are many types of coronavirus uh, many of which are pretty common, and COVID-19 is something different, and so we will be using COVID-19, and I would encourage you to do the same also. I wish all of the media would use COVID-19 instead of coronavirus. Uh, so here at the Kent County Health Department, we are currently, or in total, uh, we have monitored 15 travelers with a history in mainland China. Uh, eight of those have cleared quarantine. Uh, seven of them are still in monitoring. Um, however, they are all doing well. Uh, no one is sick in that group, and I expect them to clear quarantine all very soon as well. However, what you've also heard in the past few days from the, the national news have been a number of cases around the country that have no history of travel and have no direct contacts to travelers, uh, and including six deaths. Uh, that's, that's a noteworthy development because it shows that the transmission of this virus has gone beyond the circles of quarantine and isolation. Don't be surprised when you hear about more cases or clusters of cases around the country. This just tells us that this COVID-19 situation is going to be with us for a while. Uh, there's no reason to panic and there's no, uh, there's no therapy or vaccine at this time. Those are under development. We need to focus on doing the things that we can do. Here at this department, we're going to continue to communicate. We're going to isolate people when they are sick. We're going to quarantine as appropriate. And we're going to encourage everyone to stay home if you're sick, wash your hands frequently, cover coughs, get your vaccines, especially your flu vaccine. Let's reduce the burden on our hospitals. And I would encourage you to put your comments, your questions in the comments section of this Facebook page. And please like and share this Facebook page and we'll be here providing more updates as the situation develops. Thank you.